Hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, light worker, and Reiki healer. Today's tarot reading is a yes or no pick a card for whatever your question is. So ask your question to your angels and spirit guides and ask them which pile answers it. Pick with your intuition and you can use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your reading. Now, for those who are already good with choosing with their intuition and don't need any assistance, this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, pile number five, pile number six, and pile number seven. Now, for anyone who would enjoy my breathing exercise to help you choose with your intuition, we'll begin that now. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your question of your spirit guides and angels. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Asking your spirit guides and angels which pile answers your question. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, one of the crystals or a number between one and seven may just pop into your mind. If it does, select that pile. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now when you're ready, open your eyes and select the pile that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. For reminders, we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, pile number five, pile number six, and pile number seven. You can select your pile and jump ahead to your reading with the timestamps in the comments and description, and I will meet you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number one with this Lemurian Quartz. Your message from this crystal is to practice patience. So whatever you're asking Tarot about, just be patient. You know, that's, uh, that's the real message from the crystal. Now let's take a look at your yes or your no. Uh, the first three cards will determine the yes or the no. You get the six of swords, the star, and the nine of coins. All right, this looks like a yes. Uh, let's see, yeah, victory. This is past moving on from testing. And this is victory. And you've got a six of swords and a six of wands. So you've got a pair on top of each other. And then you've got major arcana on top of major arcana here with this hermit and the star. The star is healing and the hermit is some time alone. 
Now you've got this nine of coins, which is about rewarding yourself with luxuries and the priestess, which is all about your intuition and your abilities to use your mind and your gifts, you know, whatever your gifts may be, whether that's, you know, um, well, just whatever your gifts are, it's using your mental, spiritual gifts to, uh, to really affect the world in a positive way. And which is beautiful. So hopefully like for whoever that's for, you know, a thank you for, for using your gifts that way. Now, uh, you got a, you got a yes. It's an absolute yes. Everything's positive. Um, just be patient about it. You know, it's, it's coming in. This is all coming in this victory, this healing, um, some alone time that is real productive for you that, uh, you know, it's, it's a good thing. It, uh, you know, shed some light on some things for you. And this, uh, this nine of coins is rewarding yourself financially. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be financial, but it is a coin card, but, uh, it's rewarding yourself with luxuries, you know, giving yourself the things that you want because you can. And then of course, you know, the priestess, which is all about your intuition. Now let's take a look at your angel cards. You get happiness from the angels. So congratulations on this. Yes. For many of you, um, some of it, it has to do with your dreams. So nurture those dreams. They're going to come true. That is a, a yes. Now trust your intuition. Absolutely. Never judge anybody else. Yeah. Judging others is a very third dimensional energy and we're all trying to live above that. So just don't judge others. Don't judge yourself too hard. You know, you're human too. And, uh, I mean, we're all spiritual beings having human experiences, but you, you really are, you know, trapped kind of in this human body. So you're going to have errors and mistakes and challenges and things you go through and that's okay. You know, that's, that's why we're here to learn the lessons in front of us. Now for this victory here, you get nothing is yet set in stone. So you continue on your good path and, you know, come to this victory because nothing is yet set in stone. Now for the priestess, you get show the world the real you. So some of you, I am getting our, are having, um, you have some psychic powers showing up in your life, whether it is, um, for some of you, it's telepathy is what I'm hearing. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, for whoever that's for, that is, um, that's amazing. And you know, really share your, share your power with the world. Now, uh, finally you get realization with the hermit. You are going to realize in this hermit, when it's, when I said it sheds some light on something for you, that's you coming to the realization of who you truly are and why you're meant to be here. So some of you are on the precipice of that, of really discovering your true self, which is amazing. So just trust your intuition. Don't judge yourself too hard. Let the world see who you are. Remember that nothing is set in stone because you have free will and step through into your fantastic mission and life purpose. But also be patient because, yeah, be patient. It comes with, you know, time. The universe moves at its own speed. All right. And you got a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. All right. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, please email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.
Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number two with this adventuring. Your message from this crystal is to create your own luck. So if you're asking about luck, maybe you should be creating your own with your manifestations. Now, let's take a look at your yes or your no. You get the seven of wands and the five of swords and the three of swords. Okay, this is a very clear no. So whatever you ask tarot, create your own luck for some of you if you were asking about luck, but this is a, a no to whatever you asked. Um, you're fighting for a new financial beginning, I see here, and there's stress because you're not being recognized at work and your heart's br been broken, but you have strength. Yeah, you're, you know, for whoever that is, that, you know, I'm sorry, you have the inner strength. Keep up the fight because you will win. You know, that's the, that's the deal. But the, the answer to whatever you ask tarot is no. Now, for your angels, you get Archangel Raphael coming out with for you with some compassion and healing. Ooh, and Archangel Zadkiel with forgiveness. Some of you are being really wronged here with this no. Some of you are asking, am I getting this promotion? Am I being recognized for my hard work I'm putting in? And the answer to that is no, you're not. But you have compassion from the angels and love and healing from the angels. And Archangel Zadkiel coming out over here for forgiveness you know, to help you forgive for this wrong that's being done to you by getting this no. Now, you're being told to feel joy in all you do, absolutely, and you are here for a reason. Yes, you need to find that mission and get on that path. Conclusions are within reach for you. You've got a personal issue reaching resolution, so that's good. With that strength coming out, this is a life lesson that's coming to an end for you. You know, that is beautiful, so it's over. With this no, that's like the end, it's over. And, uh, and it, it's a personal issue reaching resolution. You're gonna realize that that's just not the way. And uh, for whoever that's for, you know, it's gonna be okay. You've got the masculine coming out from Queen of the Moon. And the masculine is you being strong enough to pick up whatever pieces are damaged with this broken heart and this fear and worry around work and home. And mostly around work, I think. You know, I don't think it's very much around home for many of you. But you're able to pick up these pieces and move on from whatever wrong this no has been done to you. And you've got the angels. Now, some of you wanted a no. And if you wanted a no, then it was a no, you know, and congratulations. But some of you were asking about promotions, were asking, am I being recognized? We're asking, am I gonna win this? You know, and the answer is no. But you have Archangel support coming out in full strength. You've got you know, the masculine determining you and describing you, which means you're strong enough for this new beginning to happen. You're strong enough to be recognized at work. You know, whether it's maybe you shouldn't be working for someone else, maybe your work should be following your passion. And, you know, you and, but I'm not saying quit your job. That's not what I'm saying at all. You know, everybody's got to pay the bills, but, uh, but you following your passion, devoting your time to your passion will help you step into that and find a way to let that be your source of income because you're looking for a new financial beginning. All right, so yeah, your conclusions are within reach. Just pay attention to what the spirit guides tell you. Pay attention to what resonated with you. And, uh, and that's all I have for pile number two, who's being advised to create your own luck. All right. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading with me, you can email me at terrysinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. 
Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number three with this Apophyllite. Your message from this crystal is to stay positive. So keep those thoughts positive so that you manifest what you want as opposed to manifesting something you don't want. Now, ooh, you start with the lovers. So lots of you asking about, ooh, and the two of cups. Wow, okay. And the knight of cups. Okay, this is very clear, very seriously a yes to your relationship question. And most of you asked relationship questions because they've got the lovers, which is talking about a commitment between you and your soulmate. You've got the two of cups, which is talking about a soulmate relationship. And you've got the knight of cups, which is talking about a proposal. So whatever relationship question you ask, the answer is absolutely yes. Now clarifying, there is some looking at what you lost versus looking at what you have and the time and need for reflection, but you're going to get a second chance. So some of you, I think, have been proposed to already and you didn't really take the chance, but you're hoping for a second chance. So that is you know, you, you got a yes, you're going to get that chance. Absolutely. With this five of cups, you need to really look at what you still have as opposed to focusing on what you've lost. You know, it, um, uh, it is a, it is a more sad energy, but this reflection, this palace of cups is about looking at your emotions. So see where your emotions got wrapped up in this there is a romantic proposal coming and it is a second chance for many of you. But whatever you ask Tarot about your romantic relationship or your relationship in general, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a relationship with your parent, with your sibling, with your friend, you know, whoever it is, you know, but it was definitely a relationship style question. Now for the angel messages, you get be accommodating. So yes, for all of you that are going into a relationship, be accommodating and speak with the universal heart. So really figure out what it is that you want that benefits you on all levels as well as benefits the world on its level as well. So speak with the universal heart, see what you need to do. Like attracts like, like I was saying, stay positive. You're manifesting, so stay positive. Live your bliss, that is beautiful. Now you're being told to step out of your comfort zone and be bold and make the first move. So this second chance is coming in fast and you're even being advised you can be bold and make that first move. Now, nourishment is what's coming out for this meditation that focuses on your emotions with regards to the relationship you're asking about. And you're being told just to nourish your soul, you know, nourish your soul, nourish your body, you know, as well. Don't, uh, don't neglect yourself as you prepare to go into this beautiful transition in a relationship. You know, some of you, this is you meeting your soulmate and moving quickly through the phases to get to the proposal. Like this doesn't have to be today. It doesn't have to be tomorrow, but it is coming in your near future. And, uh, and it's out there. So some of you were just asking other random questions and it's all about a relationship but the the yes still goes for you even if you weren't asking about a relationship the the yes still goes because it was definitely a yes all right that's all i have for pile number three thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button i really appreciate it for those of you interested in a private reading you can email me at terry's inspired tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. 
Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number four with this rainbow obsidian. Your message from this rainbow obsidian is to heal your heart. So, yeah, whatever heartbreak you've suffered, you need to, to heal that and give yourself time to heal. Now, for your yes or your no, you start with the four of coins and then the four of cups and the king of wands. So this looks like a yes. This is, well, let's get the clarification. All right, so we got a whirlwind romance, something ending, and a strong position. All right, so you've got stable foundations with the four of coins. And then you've got boredom with a little bit of kind of looking to what you could have over what you do have with the Four of Cups. But then you've got stepping into creative projects and people following you and it being, you know, your, your passion and whatnot with the King of Wands. Now, stable foundations clarified by the Knight of Wands is a whirlwind romance for you. So some of you are asking about money. Some of you are asking about love. And then there's other random things mixed in there too. But just take what resonates with you as your own. Some of you have something ending for the beginning of something new. So just don't focus only on the something new. You know, focus on what else you've been given that you... Um, that you should be showing gratitude for. Just keep your eye on gratitude. And then this Nine of Wands, it is a little bit of caution with this King of Wands that you don't need to take a super strong position in your creative projects that you start. Where, I mean, like some of you are going to have people that are working with you on projects, that are working with you on stuff that you do. Just don't have this really strong position where you can't be free to learn and experiment with something new. So, cause we're, we're all growing daily and experiencing new things daily that we have to really process. And so just keep your, your mind and options open. Now from the angels, you get friendship. So friendship is, you know, telling you to be your best, be your own best friend and also show friendship to those around you. You're having compassion poured out on you from the angels with the compassion card. You're being told to take responsibility for your actions. So if some of you are squabbling with your friends, take responsibility for your actions. Don't let this fight keep going. Just get through it and give with that expectation. So give of your heart. For those of you that are in the conflict with a friend, Give of your heart without expectation. Take responsibility for your actions in whatever this this disagreement is. And just try to bring it back to center. Because there's no reason to, to squabble in a friendship. Friendships are more valuable than that. Now, you get a win-win outcome is forecast. Surrender to the divine and will. So your will is going to play a significant factor in, you know, whatever's ending for this new beginning. Keep your eye on what you have and be grateful for what you have. That'll help you manifest a little bit better. But, uh, but yeah, surrender to the divine and know that a win-win outcome is coming for you, whether it's in romance in finance in whatever new beginning this, uh, this is your will is a part of it but also surrender to the divine and uh and make up with your friend all right and heal your heart too all right that is all i have for pile number four thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button i really appreciate it for those of you interested in a private reading you can email me at terry's inspired tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.
Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number five with this phantom quartz. Your message from the phantom quartz is to embrace change. So wherever there's change in your life, know that it's for your greater good and embrace it. Now, you start with the ten of coins, so finances, and then faith, and then the eight of cups. All right, this looks like a yes. Let's get clarification. Yeah, you got the magician, so you're manifesting your stable financial foundations. Now, there's some kind of stalemate, but new opportunities are coming in with the possibility for travel and a natural ending. All right, yes, I'm going to say that this looks like a yes to me. This, uh, this 10 of coins here is about solid, stable financial situations. And the magician is about you manifesting. So this is you manifesting the abundance you really want. Now, this two of swords is about a stalemate. And the faith card can be about anything from marriage to, um, from marriage to, uh, to religion, to education, and you're in a stalemate somewhere. So just figure out where it is that you can't take action, that you can't really take movement and reassess things. That'll help you figure out how to end this stalemate. Now, there is a natural ending of some kind in this Eight of Cups, but, uh, but, and, and some, and po sometimes travel in the Eight of Cups as well. But, uh, but there is a natural ending. And then this page of coins is coming out to clarify and saying that it's bringing all kinds of financial opportunities to you. So that looks good. Looks like a yes. Now, you're being told to let go. That is an important factor of manifesting. So, for those of you that are manifesting your financial goals, let go of the manifestation once you do it. You know, once you, once you do it, let go of it. Let it go out into the universe. It'll come back to you. Now, cherish innocence. All right. Yes, cherish innocence. Abundance is your right. Very good, very good, definitely. Um, like this whole segment over here is covering the manifestation of abundance. And abundance is your right, so know that you can step into it. And it is, it's a beautiful thing. Now, you're being told to release toxic relationships. So if this that's naturally ending is a toxic relationship... Or if this is a toxic relationship in, you know, someone that you're married to, uh, for some of you, unfortunately, you know, someone that you're in school with, that you're very close to, that, um, there is a stalemate somewhere and that can be a natural ending if it's a toxic relationship. So let go of those toxic relationships but uh, but preserve the ones that aren't, of course. Now, this is a time for healing for you as you manifest. It's a time to give rather than take in these uh, in whatever this ending is and this opportunity. And then extremes. So some of you, this stalemate isn't really a stalemate. You know, it's you guys taking an extreme position that are opposite. And so you can undo that by just kind of moving off of your extreme position. All right, that's all I have for pile number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number six with this Iolite. Your message from the Iolite is to shift your money mindset. So whatever mindset of lack you've had, let that go. Shift it to a mindset of abundance. 
Now, you start with the Ten of Swords and then the Queen of Wands and the Hanging Man. All right, this looks like a no. This is a ending that can be shocking, but it's definitive. This is the need for a different perspective or delays. And then this is you stepping into your own power. So regardless of the fact that you got to know, you're still stepping into your own power. Now, clarification is this ending, you probably already know about it because it's moving really, really quickly. You're, you got the King of Cups, so emotional, intelligence, compassion, part of this stepping into your own with your passions. And then you've got the Ace of Swords, so a new beginning that is definitely something you're strong enough for and you're assertive enough for, but whatever you asked Tarot was a no. Now, your angels say honor life cycles, so whatever's ending, just honor life cycles and let it go. You're being told to embrace change. So, yeah, embrace the change. Love is your energy. Know your own truth. Now, you get a new romantic cycle begin. So, some of you, this ending is a romance that is just ended. Um, don't let your past hold you back in this new beginning. And finally, resistance. As you step into your own with this King of Cups energy, which also represents you, you have the resistance to negative energy. You have the resistance to being held back by this ending or held back by this, you know, um, delay. You have got the strength for this new romantic cycle. And just remember, never let your past hold you back. Know your truth and breathe the love energy inside you. All right, that's all I have for pile number six. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are interested in a private reading, please email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number seven with this piece of selenite. Your message from the selenite is to clear the clutter. All right, so take that as it resonates. You know, we all need to clear the clutter sometimes, whether it's emotional baggage or actual physical clutter. Now, let's take a look at your yes or you know. Some of you are fighting for what you want and you're having reunions. All right, we definitely need the clarification on this one. So, determination, ooh, the devil. All right, this looks like a no. It's, you know, you've got this fighting right here with the um, five of swords and then you've got reunions, but that's being clarified by the devil. So some of you are having reunions with people, with things, and it is bringing up these old, um, these old habits and circumstances that put you in a cage that make you feel trapped, whether it is, you know, um, some form of addiction, whether it is some form of, you know, relationship that isn't for your highest and best interest you know, that is, that's what's coming through with the devil card. Now with the seven of coins, you've got your hard work that you put in and the determination that you are going to reap your hard work. And that is beautiful. Your 10 of cups over here is also beautiful. You've got a happy home life. So that is wonderful. Happy home. Some of you are getting a new home. Um, and then this, this palace of swords is your action center. It's figuring out where your action's going to go. But whatever you ask Tarot, the answer was no. So for those of you hoping for a no, there you go. I'm glad. And for those of you that were hoping for a yes, I'm sorry. But it's okay because you've got a lot of beautiful cards here as well. You've got trust the flow from your angels for, for everyone. Just trust the flow of the universe. It's all going to go exactly the way it should for your best benefit. And then you've got Archangel Uriel here. He is the Archangel of Wisdom. 
So he is here, call out to him. If you are not sure where this devil energy is, call out to him, ask him to help show you what it is you need to cut out. And he most definitely will. Now, kindness counts, absolutely. And ask for guidance. What did I just say about Archangel Uriel? Ask for guidance about this, whatever this is. And some of you know what it is. Some of you just don't know how to stop it. You know, whatever it is, you ask Archangel Uriel for guidance. He's the Archangel of Wisdom. He'll help. Now, you're being told meditate and contemplate for where you're putting your fighting energy. That the energy is gaining momentum. So, where you figure out where you're supposed to take action, it's going to be beautiful. But, um, all right. And then you got the unexpected blue moon. Yeah, this was definitely the unexpected. Um, some of you, this is someone coming back into your life after a really long time and it is, you know, it makes you feel trapped. This is the, the unexpected happening. So call out to Archangel Uriel for guidance. It's going to be okay, but you did get a no to whatever you asked Tarot. All right. Thank you so much for choosing me as your Tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.